Good morning. Here we are again out for another ramble, and today we're in Matlock in Derbyshire. We're out with uh, Steve Frogmoon, Wild Camps and Wanderers, and uh, we're just up on the monument at the moment. <coughs> but, uh, we're going to be heading up to uh, High Tor near the Heights of Abraham, and uh, we're well, yeah, just a bit of a chill day today. Um, weather forecast uh, isn't brilliant, I think it's uh, varying between light rain and heavy rain. Um, but yeah, we're just going to see where it takes us. So fairly chilled out day today. I think we might drop into Matlock again. Where we're going to have some dinner, uh, add a couple of cheeky pints, and uh, maybe an overnighter. Like I say, we'll see where it takes us. So I'll have a walk up the hill, and uh, we'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, so now we're up on top of High Tor in Matlock. Had a good traverse, we'll park the other side of Matlock and come up. And the views up here are absolutely spectacular. It's a long old drop down there. There you've got Heights of Abraham. You'll have uh, cable cars that usually run up to the top, onto there, onto that top point. Now me and Steve are just going to explore some of the uh, the cave systems down here. So we'll strap our torch on, and we'll, uh, we'll see how far we get. Right, so we're heading down here, and Steve's just informing us this is called the Walk of Faith. <laughs> I'm not holding much hope out on this. No, there's his bag, I think he might have fell over. There's a cable cars over there if you can make them out. <laughs> I've not bought any clean bridges with me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Walk of Faith. Uh, Steve's informed me that there did used to be a rail all the way round, but there's no rail on there at all. And you see the drop down there. So, there's no faith I'm afraid. I ain't venturing down there. Well, I've come from the top, from High Tor, and we just managed to find a, a little pathway down. And it looks as though this is the start of the cave system. I believe at one stage that uh, there was a gate down here that was always locked, but it uh, looks as though it's been jammed open. So. Uh, yeah, it looks very tight down there, but we'll give it a go. Head torch on, fingers crossed, onward. How did I just get through that?
Doggy Beetle down here. Look. Fault's with it. Is it? I'm not sure. There's some wee beasters. You think to yourself in the woods you might have widow makers. Now check out them for widow makers. You won't want one of them on your beak. Yeah. I've just come down here and Steve's gone all Doctor Doolittle on me, he's communicating to bats. Oh, I don't want to come in with you! I'm going to give me a kiss! <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did, I got right. it on camera. <laughs> Here we go. Steve, Steve, come back down here, pal. They make out as a tiny little bat. A tiny little bat that's just perched up on here. Look at him up there, look. Watch his flash scare him and coming right at your face. Well, I've never seen one so close. A tiny little bat. Light at the end of the tunnel. A cracking little system. Well, it's been an absolutely fascinating uh, experience going down here. How many different nooks and crannies. I think we're just about to be coming out to the world at the end of it now as well. So we may head on into Matlock, have a wander around, and then probably traipse back up later and see what we can find for a wild camping spot. So what we've just done is we've dropped down from Matlock itself and we're on the outskirts of Matlock Bath now and we're at the Heights of Abraham. So if you can see in the background we've got the cable cars that's running up the top. Uh, Steve's just gone to check out the price and what we may do, we may be going up in the cable cars and inclusive of the fare as well then is uh, a lead mine at the top. So we might go back up there and uh, yeah, we'll have a wander around. So we'll bring you back in a bit.
<laughs> on the wrong song, right? <laughs> Well, we're at the top now. Little adventure playground there for the kids. Shame about the weather today. It just started raining a little bit more. But it will not stop us doing what we want to do. We'll still have a good day. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Chrissy. I will be your cave guide for the next 30 to 35 minutes. Before we go into the cave there are a few health and safety things I just need to run through. So there are 171 steps in total. The good news is 12 of them go down. Bad news is you've got 159 on the way up. They're not all in one go though, you'll be pleased to know. So there's two sets of 40, one set of 80. Oh, 
well. Well, we're out of the cave system now. It's been good. It's been good to see a different cave. Uh, last time we was in uh, from Edale was at Castleton for the uh, Blue John Mine Caves. Uh, it's just good to see something different. But, uh, the cracking view of that is behind us. What a marvellous wild camping spot this would be. Wake up to those views in the morning. Wake up top here. I think there's a, uh, a visible view down into the mine shaft. We're going to have a look. I thought today, Steve, we'd we'll be having a look at Tinker's shaft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to think about it. <laughs> right, so now we've had a good look at uh, Tinker's shaft. <laughs> we're uh, on our way back down, so I think we're going to jump back on the cable car. Uh, we're going to go, I think it'll take us out between Matlock and Matlock Bath. So then uh, we're both ready for some snap and a brew. So we're going to go down and uh, we've got a bite to eat. We'll take you back. Okay. Missed it, little Spitfire flying over. Could have thought we'd seen that.
to the boozer. Cheers. Cheers. Right then, if you cast back to a, an earlier part of the video when I was saying about Steve's walk of faith it's very hard to see because the uh, GoPro doesn't zoom in but the walk of faith skirts around that ledge there just around there <laughs> and you can see for good reason why I bottled out of that there's a climber up there so we're doing, uh, we've just had a, a walk from Matlock Bath and we're walking into Matlock itself so uh, for those who don't know Matlock Bath it's a bit of a like a, a seaside location uh, without the sea so plenty of arcades and chip shops and what have you so we just had a, a chip dinner had a couple of pints and now we're going to walk back uh, into Matlock but weather's turned again it's absolutely glorious so we're just walking along the A6 main road the way through and then we're uh, heading into Matlock and we'll pick up some vital essentials and then uh, we're going to have a look about having a look for a place for a wild camp Well, we've had as fun as caverns <laughs> uh, only a couple of pubs that we went into uh, we've uh, gone back to the secret rendezvous where we've put us cars <laughs> and now we're back up onto the hillside having a steady walk up and it is going to be a steady one because it's very very steep to go up and uh, we're looking for a wild camping spot. I think we've got somewhere in mind, haven't we, Steve? We have, we have got somewhere <coughs> in mind. And uh, this backpack on is, uh, yeah. is taking its toll. I don't know if I can give you a, a loadout view. <laughs> we said we was packing light for the weekend, didn't we? But, but uh, we're not packing that light. It we've got all that we've got <laughs> in the bag as well. I think it hasn't materialised. I think we've packed for every eventuality. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> evening. Uh, no rain in sight. <clears throat> lovely. I think it's going to be a lovely sunset tonight as well. Yeah. So we're going to get where we're going to. Uh, we'll take you along the way, and then we'll show you where we're going to kip for the night. Right. We're about halfway up where we need to be. You can see Rhymber Castle in the background. It's uh, turning out to be a glorious evening. And a quick shot over there, over Matlock. So it is quite warm, I'd say probably about 21 degrees. Um, yeah, just having a, a steady walk up. No need to break any records, just having a, a good walk up. Um, I'm going to pitch up for tonight and uh, yeah, see where it takes us. I'll put a few candles up. I think we might be going to a, a cave system and we might be uh, pitching up around there but uh, yeah it should be a lovely evening and a nice chilled out day as well. well the sun's going down and we're just near the final uh, area for camping you just make over there there's black rocks and if you make over there that's where we was earlier having the cable car up, up to the top point where the flag is Steve's doing a bit of a Spider-Man. Sun's just about to go down. And again, an absolutely gorgeous view. Cracking up here. Might pick up a little bit of wind noise, wind noise, but it is fairly still up here. I think when we get into the cave system, it'll be uh, nice and quiet. Well, the lighting levels have now dropped and uh, we've made our way back to the cave system where we first started this morning. Um, we've had a few downpours today, but uh, there's only a bit of wet patch down there where the, the leaf matter is that's, that's quite heavy. But uh, down on this area and it's, uh, it's bone dry. So we've come back and we're going to set up tonight. Up there we've got a little picnic bench where we're going to have uh, some food, get a rat pack on the go and uh, a few more cheeky ales. And uh, yeah, it should be a, a nice evening. 
think we've got a location up there we'll be able to get some of Steve Candles on the go and uh, yeah it should be a nice evening well that's his camp set up I'm ground dwelling down here at the uh, snug pack special forces bivvy the uh, central zip on it um, it's a reflective thermal liner that, that's inside just reflect a bit of heat back uh, outkit 400 uh, pipe dream 400 sleeping bag in there and outkit pneumo sleeping mat so uh, yeah not expecting any rain tonight it's not forecast any rain so um, famous last words and all but we'll, we'll see what happens got a ground sheet down there got some um, nighttime thermals in there and I've got a, a rab tarp, a sill tarp in there and if it does start to rain then I shall just drape it over me I don't think it's going to amount to much but, uh, Steve's uh, ingeniously put his tarp up over the top there so uh, he's got some cover if it uh, if it does come to anything and uh, he's set up, he's got a DPM um, British Forces Gore-Tex bivvy bag uh, Thermarest sleep mat in there and then we're just sorting a snap out for tonight got the jet boil on the go just gave us some rat packs uh, a few beers and then we'll hit the hay and an early start for Father's Day tomorrow but, uh, should be a good night shouldn't it? yeah it should yeah it's quiet now mm. this is our dining arrangement for this evening We've got the um, brew kit on the go. And what we've we got tonight, we've got Indian Indonesian spicy rice with pork, some San Miguel, some red stripe. And Steve's got his jet boil. And what's he on tonight? Beef goulash. So we've uh, found a, a handy park bench. So this is our dining arrangements for this evening. Uh, Steve's just gone for a, a quiet wander and back down there is the cave system where we're all set up We've had a snap for tonight. Had my uh, Indonesian spicy pork with rice from the rat back that I bought from Ginger Bushcraft, and lovely it was too. Now we're just having a couple of tinnies. Hey Steve, how was your goulash, pal? Not too bad for you, actually, with rice. Quite palatable. You enjoyed right. it. We've got a fire on the go now in the uh, in the cave system. Keep your sense warm a little bit later. But uh, it's not too bad, it's dropped a little bit cooler at the moment. But it's still not too bad. And you get down and back into the cave system and it's uh, ever so sheltered. It's lovely. So we'll have a few drinks and then we'll uh, retire to the fire. Right, we're all settled down for the evening in the cave system. Steve there chilling out, got a fire on the go, that's absolutely cracking. So still down here. You hear a bit of music in the background that's coming from uh, Matlock Way On, or Matlock Bath. But apart from that, it's absolutely still. Good morning. We had a quite peaceful night. A rather good night's sleep. Um, yeah. Chill down earlier. See we've been sleeping. Just got a brew on. We're gonna get those things packed up. Morning, Steve. 
Morning, Pete. <laughs> I didn't sleep, pal. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bod's a tweet up there. That yeah, looks another good morning. Let's say we're, uh, we're going to get ourselves packed up and we're going to head back down to the car. But yeah, a cracking night and a great location. Well, there we go. There's uh, another end to another adventure. A really good night, a uh, really good day yesterday in fact as well, uh, we've had it all uh, tidied up now, as you can see everything's been squared away, the fire pit's been uh, put out, no fire scars, all been made over, and this is where we were camping last night. make his way back up to the top, I'll have a drop down back into Matlock to where our cars are and uh, yeah, we'll have a wander on. Right, well, we're uh, back at the cars now, we're all packed up, all ready to go. Uh, it's been a really good day uh, yesterday. Uh, say to Steve, we've packed quite a lot in yesterday. Um, went up, did the cave system, Saw the bats fluttering about, had a good laugh in there. Uh, then we dropped into Heights of Abraham, went up the uh, cable car system, went in the, the lead mining, had a quick look at Tinker's shaft, didn't we, Pat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, dropped ourselves into Matlock, um, had a few drinks, and then had a walk back, uh, back into the cave system last night to sleep. Brewing night and a really good day as well yesterday. Uh, thanks a lot for to Steve. Uh, Frogman Wild Camps, so what I'll do is uh, I'll leave a, a link to his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Steve. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, it's been good. Cheers. And uh, we'll bring you back on the next video. Cheers. <laughs>